Eduardo. God is taking us away One by one God is taking us away God is taking us away My God is taking us away One by one My God is us away. one by one. God is yeah. us Hallelujah. Away. Yeah. This is not our home. 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 One by one. God is taking yeah. us away. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to see his face. I want to see his face. want to see his face. want to see his face. want to see God's face. God. One by one God is taking yeah. us away Yeah I'm going home I'm going home We gotta go Going home We gotta go Gotta go We gotta go I'm going home One day Gotta go We gotta go One day by one One day Will you be ready? Will you be ready? When he come, when he come, it won't be long. He's coming back. 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 
my Lord, one by one. my Lord, one by one. my Lord, one by one. Oh, 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 oh. Let me 
against every spirit that comes against your children. We bind up the hands of the enemy in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You shall get your filthy hands off of God's property. They are blessed. They are better than blessed. God cover them now. From the crown of the head to the sole of the feet, the enemy has set some plan and plot for 2020. We cancel every plot, every scheme, every trick, every lie. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We shall walk by faith and not by sight. God, whatever we see, you saw it first. So God, we thank you for going before us and making a way for us. God, I declare and decree in this house, every home shall be blessed. Every life shall be strengthened, God. Every sickness and disease, we call to heal right now in the name of Jesus. God bless us, God. Keep us, God. Walk with us, God. Talk with us, God. I thank you right now, God, for all you've done in the past and what you're going to do in the future. There's no giving up now, God. You've been too good to us. Hallelujah. You've been better to us than we've been to our own self. 
God, we glorify you. We edify you. We lift you up. We magnify you. There's none like you. Hallelujah. You're the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Prince of peace, the great I am, the first and the last, Alpha and Omega. God, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord God. In the precious name of Jesus. Yeah, I thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Amen.
over the things that came against you that you thought were going to take you out. And they were so, they were so, they were so massive. They were so powerful. It was saying, your own soul looks back and wonders. How in the world? Oh, y'all ain't got no testimony. You've been saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Devil ain't missing. No trouble, no trial, no tribulation. But I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go sit up like I ain't never had no trouble, never had to cry, never had to go through nothing. I'm gonna give God some glory. Because there were some battles I couldn't fight. There were some things I couldn't tunnel through. There were some mountains if God didn't help me, I would have never climbed. There were some valleys I was in that God and only God could pull me out. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. You better take a flashback. You better take a flashback and understand how good God has been to you. Hallelujah. Y'all sitting up here looking at me like I'm a movie show or whatever and this supposed to be church and everybody's supposed to participate and you know, I know you got it going on and you got this, you got that, 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 that. But let me tell you something. Let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Over here, God has something for your life. Uh -huh. And you over here trying to get prosperity. Come on now. Don't go so much for prosperity yes, that you forget about God yes. and become somebody who God yes. did not appoint you to be. Yes. Somebody better get ready because you think that your prosperity got you, but your money will leave you. Y'all ain't helping me in here. But what God has for you, you better choose God over prosperity. Y'all ain't helping me here because God is rich. Do you hear me? He will supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. If I told, if I told 25, get up and shout all the money you made last week, you attack last year, you attack the seats up. But then who helped you to get the money and stay on a job that you didn't like to make the money and you won't tell God thank you but let me stay in that place come on let's just give him a praise come on come on if you take praise for your past, praise him for your future. Ezekiel 
chapter number one. Verse number one. If we have it, say amen. amen. Now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was coming, as I was among the captives by the river of Chabar, that the heavens were open and I saw visions of God. Now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Chabar, that the heavens were open yes. and I saw visions of God. Yes. I simply want to talk about grateful. Okay. All right. All right. Grateful. And if I were to try and subtopic, I would probably say it's the year to seek God. Uh, Ezekiel apparently wants us to know that God called him up at age 30. He was a young prophet didn't have much experience but he was still out there with Jeremiah and Daniel but God was raising up another prophet and, and, and the Bible says that in that year Israel had messed up And they got so caught up in the stuff because God had prospered them that they actually turned from God. So God said, since you have left me for a moment, I'm going to leave you. So what happened is the Babylonians came in and took the Israelites as their slaves. Listen, you better remember who's on the first ladder with you when you're going up on that first step. All right, now, Pastor. A lot of us, not all of us, a lot of us like to step over people who actually shoulders you were standing on. When you ought to be grateful that God allowed you to move up here I go being messy on That's okay. That's okay. God to move you up without being stuck up. I'm not trying to be crazy. So many folks know so so far up in the air they can't smell their own breath. I'm trying to be real in the new year. Because 2020 missed some of 2019 missed a lot of folk up. They, they thought that this would be that and that would be this. When God is saying you need to be grateful. And some folk 
don't mind ignoring other people stabbing folks in the back as long as it's not their back. I'm not getting very much help. There was a song when I was a boy called Backstabber. They were stabbing so much in the back when I was a boy they made a song out of it. But let me tell you, don't get upset when things like that happen to you. All right. Because whatever the enemy meant for bad, God has to turn it into something good. And if they declare themselves to be your enemy, the Lord said, I will make your enemies your footstool. I'm not going to be long. I just need to pour this out. Some of it is from personal experience. Listen. They were in Babylon because they forgot God. We cannot fool ourselves and think we are where we are because we are who we are. All right. We are where we are because God has been good to us. I know I ain't preaching your tune today. But everything you have, God provided. Come on, somebody. I don't care what you have. God did it for you. Young people, you can't relate, but folks my age now are over. They can. But if today, God was to set us back 100 years. And you say you don't have nothing to be thankful for. If it was a hundred years ago, you still be picking cotton. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh no, you ain't have glass windows, wooden windows. But it fold out. And then we walk around because we don't live on Mansion Boulevard. But you're in a better place than where you started. And you still can't. God can't trust you to bless him because you're still thinking it's you that's doing it when God is blessing you all around you just to see at what point will you stop and tell me thank you. At what point are we going to tell God thank you? At what point are we going to say thank you for waking me up? Thank you for letting me go in the kitchen, finding something to eat. Thank you for clothes on my back. Thank you. I may not be what I ought to be, but God, I thank you. I'm not what I used to be. I'm still a work in progress. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 2019 is gone. Yes. You can't change a day about it. Yes. You can just tell God I'm grateful yes. that I made it through 2019. Yes. But what you can change is 2020. Yes. Lord, I thank you. Don't bring the failures from 2019. Come on. Don't bring the hurt from 2019. Don't bring the tears from 2019. You better jump up and tell God, I'm in 2020. I'm in the season where folk are going to be seeking God more than ever before. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I know I'm not preaching your sermon today. Lord, I thank you. But I have to preach what I've been told. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God said, the only reason why the enemy 
didn't take you out. Come on. Yes. Lord, I thank you. It's because I put a hedge over it. All right. Thank you. I put a hedge of protection God, around you in 2019. And thank the enemy Lord. could not touch you. Thank he you. tried. He tried. Yes. I'm a witness. Yes. He done tried everything with me. Yes. He's determined to kill me. Yes. But guess what? I refuse to die. Yes. Because God is the one who determines yes. death and life. Yes. It doesn't lie in the mouth of a man. It lies in the mouth of the almighty God. Tell somebody. Don't talk to nobody. We're going to stop that. Just tell yourself, I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. Yes, Lord. I went through some things in 2019 that I thought I would never, ever have to deal with. But guess what? I'm a survivor. I came through some stuff in 2019. Yes. You would not believe. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. So if God is doing something in my life that is confusing to you, Then you ought to be coming asking me, who is your God? I need 25 folks, be real. Tell them haters, in 2020, you will not steal my joy. Whatever God has for me, it is for me. And I'm not going to throw it down because somebody blessed me. You don't really yes, know a whole lot about me. But you think you do. <laughs> Listen, I got to close. I don't have but five minutes. Take your time, Pastor. Take your time. <laughs> 2020 has to be a better year. Yeah, don't be. Amen. Ezekiel. Oh. Sitting there. By the river, Chabar. Hmm. He's sitting there, y'all, surrounded by depressed people. Hmm. What you say, Pastor? Hmm. And 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 the people were depressed because they couldn't understand what was going on. Uh -huh. yeah. And Ezekiel began to call out on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Psalms 121 says it this way. You don't have to go to it. I will lift up my eyes yes. Yes, Lord. unto the hill from which cometh my help. Yes. My help cometh from the Lord yes, which made heaven and earth. Yes. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Yes. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shame. Upon thy right hand, the sun shall not smite thee. Y'all ain't helping me in here. No, the moon by night. If everything start getting crazy. God said the sun ain't going to burn you. The moon ain't going to mess with you. Your enemies can't touch you. Because I got you. Somebody ought to be grateful in 2020 that God got you. Not just in 2019. God already have a plan for your life in 2020. And then something else I learned from Ezekiel. And brother, I don't know you. I don't think I know you. In the balcony with the red and white jumpsuit. Yeah, you don't look around. <laughs> 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 He's an old man. 
<laughs> Tammy told me your name, Zay. Zay, you have been in my spirit ever since you walked down this aisle greeting people. You stood for a minute somewhere, I don't know exactly where you were standing, mm. but you stood for a minute. And then you proceeded in that direction. And I didn't know where you were going. But what I saw was, is that you were seeking something other than what and who you've been dealing with in the world. My, 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 my. And you came in here to try to find the God that we be talking about and shouting about. I don't know your story. And I've been watching you this entire service. And I believe, I believe that God is going to make you a witness and a living testimony. It's yours, brother. Because God saw how bad you wanted it. But you didn't know how to get it. But God got my attention to tell you that the favor of God is going to fall on your life. Everything that wasn't will be, everything that's against you, going to turn around. You're going to be the head and not the tail. You are through now. You are finished. Among all your, for all these folks in here, God put the spotlight on one. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. See if you come seeking. Yes, yeah. And God really know that you're seeking. I can close right now. Yes. Oh, my God. My God. So, my God. What else I learned from Ezekiel, and I got to go now. This young man got me. Thank you. I got to go now. But what what else Ezekiel taught me? He was sick. He was hurt, y'all. My mama. He couldn't make sense of all that was going on. All these people depressed, and he didn't know. What are you was going to do? And he did the one thing that he knew to do. He looked up to him. My Lord. But this is what I, the part that, that blesses me. When you are too weak. And when you are at your lowest. My Lord. My Lord. This is what I learned from Ezekiel. When I don't have any strength left, Ooh, yes, God. I learned that God will come to you wherever you're at in life. If you're down, he'll come down. Oh my God, and you know what? He'll come to you. Don't excuse it. Don't, 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 don't scratch out folk. God will come to a man with a blunt in his mouth. God is so holy. The only place you can meet him in church. 
Y'all trying to get quiet on me. God can catch you with your big stream. He still can talk to you. He ain't that holy. The church is more holy than God is. Listen. I know y'all didn't want to hear this message. You want to hop, hop. Right, I'm going to get this in 2020. If you don't get God, yeah. you're not going to get much in 2020. Y'all hey. ain't helping me in here. If you want more, you got to do more. God will meet you in the middle of your crisis, in the middle of your hurt, in the middle of your pain. Hallelujah. God will bless you through his son, Jesus. God will make a way out of no way. I need somebody to say I'm grateful. I wasn't worthy of my blessing, but I'm grateful for what God has done for me. Anybody know God has done something for you? Anybody know God will meet you right where you are? You don't have to fix yourself up. He will dress you up. Somebody ought to high five somebody. Tell them, I know that I know that I know that I know. I know that I know what God will do for me. Hallelujah. Won't God do it? I need some young folk in here. You may be struggling. You may be wondering. But baby, your future looks bright to me. You better go ahead and praise God. Not for your right now. Praise Him for your future. You better tell God, God, I'm grateful for where I am right now. It may not be the job I want, but He's providing me a check. Hallelujah. Can somebody praise over a bad job with a good check? Somebody better praise Him. I'm going to stand them folks because my check come from there. Somebody better bless God. Won't God meet you at the point of your need? Anybody ever been down? Anybody ever been twisted around? And God showed up in your life. I need 25 folk who ain't ashamed to say I declare, I decree that in 2020, God got it for me. God got blessing with my name on it. I feel like a blessing is about to come out right now in this house, in this season. Somebody right now is being blessed. Somebody joy is coming back. Somebody peace is coming back. Somebody love is coming back. Somebody, anybody, ought to tell God, thank you, son. You've been mighty good to us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to take them crumbs from 2019 and bring them over in the 2020. And I'm going to make me a cake out of them crumbs. Y'all ain't helping me. Tell somebody, I got a few crumbs, but I'm going to make a cake in 2020. God going to let me come full circle. Baby, you don't even know who you sitting by. You might be sitting by the next person that's going to blow your life, that's going to change your mind, that's going to change your destiny. Y'all are counting folk out. Baby, y'all don't know. You don't know like I know. God don't need the upper or upper echelon. God will take low folk who you don't think have nothing, who you don't think have nothing going for you. You look over them, but you're looking over your blessing. Somebody ought to say, I'm going to trust God that no matter who come to me and say they blessing me, if it's a crack at it, come on, I got Jesus in me. If it's a homeless person, say I got a word from God, you better take that word and run with it and tell God I'm grateful that you didn't leave me alone, that you sent me a word in my season. Is there anybody that the Lord has sent a word in your season, in your season of distress, in your season of sickness, in your season of hurt, in your seasons of letdown, in your seasons of setback? Won't God do it for you? I need 25 folk who ain't ashamed to just lift your hands of glory and say everything, everything. Every 
everything. No matter how small, no matter how large, Lord, I'm grateful. Door to the church home. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Had some pains this morning, but I'm grateful. I'm still alive. I'm grateful. He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me I'm his own. Y'all ain't helping me. I feel like telling God thank you a thousand times. If he ain't been good to you, you ain't got to say nothing. But if he been good to you, if you got a job to go to in the morning, you ought to say thank you. Hallelujah. If you have children and your children not in trouble, you ought to tell God thank you. Hallelujah. Now can somebody just thank God for coming into your situation when you're sitting down by yourself and don't know what to do. And can I tell you something? I'm not being mean, but don't put yourself around a lot of negative folk in 2020. This is my message for negative folk in 2020. Deuces. 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 Somebody better tell them. Deuces. Baby, you ain't gonna bring me down. When I'm up, you got to go, baby. And don't let the door hit you. than where the Lord found me. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Thank you, God. Woo, thank you, God. Woo, look at God. Look at God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you. I'm going to go old school. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more time. Woo, look at God. Look at God. Thank you. For the oh, increase, Father. Oh, Thank you. Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for the increase, Father. It gets hard sometimes. 